Hello, Unbreak Me here with a look at my gearbox modification of the LEGO Technic Heavy Duty Excavator set number 42121. Basically, what I did to the excavator is I added a gearbox and removed the side knob over here. And essentially, right now, everything is just controlled from the knob at the back, and you can use this lever over here at the top of the superstructure to switch the engagement of the back knob into either the bottom linear actuator or the top linear actuator. And I really appreciate that right now, it's essentially just the LEGO Technic 8294 excavator from 2000. 2008, but in a much smaller, more compact package. I love more compacted mechanisms. Compact mechanisms for me are one of the biggest priorities of LEGO Technic and one of the biggest things I appreciate about LEGO Technic. Now it did take me a while to make it work exactly like the A294 excavator, but I really want you to take a look and uh, appreciate just how closely and just how similar it is to the A294 excavator because if you engage the knob to the back on both the A294 excavator as well as the small heavy duty excavator and you spin the main knob to the left, the bucket piece will go out away from the excavator, which is very, very cool since the direction is identical on both excavators. And if you switch the main gearbox knob to the front position on both of the excavators and spin the knob to the left, the bottom linear actuators on both the excavators go down, which is incredibly cool. I just want to say if you're enjoying this video so far, then make sure to subscribe so that way you can learn all about LEGO Technic. I noticed that only about 10% of you are actually subscribed, so let's Let's get that number just a little bit higher, but no pressure, no pressure. With the modification, with the mod, I consider this set to be better than the A294 excavator simply because it is much more compact. Obviously with the 2008 version you could motorize it and add some power functions elements to it, but it is big enough for that to happen. This set is incredibly small, incredibly compact, while still also packing a gearbox with my modification. And I'm really proud of how my modification turned out to be because the first time I did this there was a fairly large gear just sticking out of it, and so you could not rotate the superstructure without sort of bending the tracks, but right now with my current modification I figured everything out and now you can rotate the superstructure completely freely, it does not hit anything, everything is flat, everything is compacted in the top superstructure which is incredibly cool. Another thing you can do with this excavator is customize the knob. If you want the excavator to look a little bit better then you can use the shorter knob or if you want a more ergonomic playing experience then you can use the longer knob. Now in my opinion with the gearbox modification the set is much better better, much more fun to play with, and if you plan to also modify your set with the gearbox modification, then I highly recommend purchasing this set, like without the gearbox I do not recommend purchasing this set, but if you plan to modify it then, I mean it becomes an instant bargain, it's just so small and so compact with, with the gearbox inside of it. Like, it's awesome. And another thing I modified about the set to make it more comfortable to play with is I removed the small gear and replaced it with a more medium sized gear, same one as in the A294 excavator, just to make spinning the knob a little bit more ergonomic. Now that the set does include a gearbox, I just love playing with it so much. I really enjoy thinking about the mechanism of how just one knob is able to control two different linear actuators independently. It's super awesome. If you want to modify this set with a gearbox for yourself, I did make complete instructions with a parts list for everything you need to modify the set. The link is in the pinned comment as well as the description of the video, so check the link if you want to modify the set for yourself. If you would like to see some of my other modifications like the LEGO Technic Ferrari 42125 full RC mod, then click on the video right over here. This is your Unbrick Me here and I'll see you in the next one.